Streaming your Quest 2 gameplay to Twitch or YouTube is pretty simple, but there are of course a few things you're going to need in order to do this. First and foremost, you're going to need a Quest 2. Yes, an obvious one, I know. You're also going to need a laptop or a PC. As of right now, there is no way to stream to Twitch or YouTube directly from the Quest 2, and there is also no way of doing it from your phone. Well, that is unless you're okay with your streams looking and sounding like this. So once you've got your Quest 2 turned on and your game queued up and ready to go, you'll want to go to your computer and open a browser window and go to oculus.com slash casting. You'll then need to log into your Oculus account and once you've done that, you'll land at this page. Now we need to head back into our headset, press the Oculus button on our right controller, click on the camera button here, then on cast, and then on computer. All that's left now is to click next and your Quest 2 should begin casting what you're seeing to your computer. Before we start streaming, there's a couple options we have here that we need to take a look at. As you can see, by default, we're casting in a one-to-one -one aspect ratio. So if you wanna change that to widescreen, you simply click on the settings cog here and then toggle this switch on. Some of the other options we have here are to expand this window up to full screen. The speaker icon here allows us to mute and unmute the game audio, as well as turn the game volume up and down. And last but not least, we can turn the Quest microphone on or off. If you don't have a separate microphone you use for capturing your voice while you're streaming, you can simply turn this on and use the Quest 2's mic. Yeah, it isn't the best mic in the world, but it does get the job done. Once you've got all this stuff set up the way you want it, you'll want to open up your streaming software. In my case, I'm going to open up OBS. This video is not a tutorial on how to use OBS, so I'm making the assumption you already know how to use whatever streaming software you're using. So, assuming you know what you're doing, this part should be a no-brainer. You'll need to set up your software to capture this window your Quest 2 is streaming to. Add in your camera, assuming you have a camera watching you as you're playing, and that's it. You're ready to stream your Quest 2 gameplay to Twitch or YouTube. Now let's shift gears just a little bit over to streaming or capturing PC VR gameplay. There's a couple ways you can go about this. For anyone who's familiar with using streaming software like OBS, you know you can very easily just capture the monitor window that comes up on your PC. But I wanna show you a way to capture or stream exactly what you're seeing in the headset. For example, if you're running the performance overlay or something like that in the Oculus debug tool, that doesn't show up in your regular gameplay monitor on your PC. The method I'm going to show you allows you to see that on your PC and capture it. It also has options for image stabilization, which smooths out your head movements, making your captures easier for viewers to watch who might more easily become motion sick or whatever while watching VR gameplay. What we're gonna do is open up an application called Oculus Mirror. This comes free with the Oculus PC app, which you must have installed on your PC in order for you to play PC VR with your Quest 2. First, we need to open up File Explorer. Double click on our C drive, then on Program Files, Oculus, Support, Oculus Diagnostics, and then open Oculus Mirror. This window isn't gonna show anything until you launch Questlink, but once you've done that, it will show exactly what you're seeing in your headset. To get Oculus Mirror to go to full screen, you click anywhere in the window here and that will bring up the menu bar at the top of the screen. Click on settings, then on full screen, and then you can click anywhere in the window to hide the menu again. If you'd like to use the image stabilization like I mentioned earlier, you click on settings, image stabilization, and enable it here. There's also some other options in here like keep upright. This keeps your capture upright when you tilt your head rather than the image on screen rotating like this. You can also change the parameters between wide, narrow, and mild, or even set up your own custom parameters. Mild does the least amount of stabilization and gives your capture the widest field of view you can get while image stabilization is enabled. Wide stabilizes things a bit more, but also narrows your field of view down a little bit. 
and narrow gives you the most stabilization, but also narrows your view the most. Once you've got these settings dialed in where you want them, as I'm sure you've guessed, at this point you can set your streaming software to capture the Oculus Mirror window and start recording or streaming your sick PC VR gameplay. As a VR content creator, getting the highest quality captures possible is absolutely essential to making great videos. And when capturing standalone Quest 2 gameplay, the only way to get the best captures is to record directly to the headset. And this video right here will show you how not only to capture your Quest 2 gameplay at 1080p, but at whatever resolution and aspect ratio you want. Subscribe!